I can still recall the day I got the messages the school is going to have the classes remotely. I moved to Seattle last year. I come from China. Since the global coronavirus outbreak, I have been reading both Chinese and American news almost every day. And they are telling me completely different stories. I understand we are all desperate to protect ourselves from a virus so badly. But hurting each other is definitely not a way to stop a virus. COVID-19 has made me realize that discrimination is still happening. When you browse around like Twitter, people are making fun of this pandemic. A lot of foreigners are openly discriminating Asian people. It's unfunny at all. It's morally wrong. Back to January 23rd, there are 495 confirmed cases in Wuhan. And Xiamen has its first confirmed case then. Right now, there is 35 confirmed cases in total in my city. Since schools are closed, as a teacher, I had to take online classes from home. A lot of restaurants are giving food out to the doctors and nurses for free. Hotels are opening up and giving beds and rooms to the medical workers. People who are diagnosed with COVID-19 no need to worry about the medical fees because the government got it all covered. The central government also gave the financial support to all the companies who are heavily influenced by this pandemic. Everyone got their health code on their phone app. Green indicates that COVID-19 related symptoms are not present or excluded. With the green note, you can go in public places, but still should wear a mask and wash your hands often. Orange codes suggest that you should stay at home for medical observation. Keep your family at a distance and take your temperature twice a day. Red health code indicates that you may be infected with COVID-19 or, or diagnosed already. I can't even recall the last time I had the cash in my hands. In China, almost everyone uses the Alipay or WeChat Pay. You just simply bend your bank card to your phone account when you buy something. What you need is to scan the QR code, and that's it. The contactless payment is definitely an effective way to keep social distance given the COVID-19 situation. Now schools are all the way reopened. Students are back to school in batches. Things are getting better. The things that I still do, for example, when I went back home, I left my shoes outside and I spread them with some disinfectant, take off my mask, and I go straight towards my hands. I disinfect and rub down anything that I brought back inside with me. That include my jacket that I wore outside. I must say, it almost gave me OCD. During the darkest time, our city was just like a ghost town, to be honest. Shops are closed, except for- 很多活动都取消，球赛、演唱会、奥运会也取消，特别是对新闻漠不关心，或者是。非常小瞧这次疫情的日本年轻人，对他们来讲，不是不可能说待在家里面等疫情的。所以说，在我们看来的话，这个在日本，要要把这个疫情控制下来，还要花很多时间。So I have been staying at home since March 7th. As of today, it's almost two months. Of course, it's uncomfortable not going outside. But I'm concerned about my personal health and my family's health more than anything. I order groceries online every two weeks. I bought lots of containers to keep the vegetables and meat. I eat egg and drink almond milk to make sure I get good proteins every day. Protein will help you to gain antibodies. I still have online classes to go, which I really feel grateful for. I'm currently an international student in visual media, and all the people I met there are awesome. Life is so uneasy lately. 对于台湾来说，因为疫情控制的比较得当，所以没有造成大规模的传染，因此社会的经济活动还是照常的运作。当然，跟家人朋友们出门都会戴口罩，因为戴口罩不仅可以保护自己，也是保护别人。只要双方戴起口罩。病毒传播的几率可以下降至一点五 percent. We have to put on the mask in public. 
you can actually learn the pros and cons in every decision making. China has 1.4 billion population. There was a time that you can buy a mask anywhere, and even like doctors and nurses on the front line in Wuhan, they are running low on supplies. People donate money, but it doesn't help. The supplies are kind of what is necessary. It was actually lack of production capacity during that time. They were completely sold out for like a month, but it's now back on stock for a while. And the prices are back to normal. One medical mask costs three yuan, like forty cents. It's reasonable. Japan 本身就是一个呃口罩大国，所以呢，而且现在是花粉的季节，就是一到这个季节的话，就大家都戴口罩。本身戴口罩的年轻人不戴的人非常的多，直到疫情控制不下来，现在每天都暴增的情况之下，现在是。嗯，百分之九十九人都会有戴口罩。政府征用了大部分口罩生产商为民众生产口罩，将口罩分送至各地药局，方便民众领取，并用大数据推出口罩地图，让民众可以查到哪里还有口罩可以领取。一开始，民众每周只能领三片口罩，到现在每人两周可以领九片口罩。不要说是疫情以来，就是他们原来就是勤洗手、勤漱口，然后回到家就会换成换衣服啊之类，就是然后回家拿那有那种花王的那种消毒剂啊、呃，衣服每天都那个喷喷喷喷喷的。那日本就是一种很很普遍、很普遍，家家户户都有这种东西，哇，就非常有洁癖的一个国家，所以本身很干净，所以就只要不去人人多的地方，我买东西回来我只会洗手、漱口。Things here in China are back to normal. People go back to work, and students go back to schools. I want to give a huge shout out to the doctors, nurses, medical workers out there. They are people risking their lives to help us, help the world. As the director of this film, what I'm trying to illustrate is, this is not an issue of a country. It's a global pandemic. As a human being, we are all in this together. We should try our best to stop it. Our differences are what makes us beautiful. The virus doesn't discriminate on race or nationality. We are all in this together. Are giving food out to the doors, doors. I bought lots of containers to keep the virus. You can buy McDonald's. 的差别，哎，这段我可以重新讲吗？嗯。The American president. 唯一一个就是比较那个普普及，比较普及。嗯